Hello and welcome back. In this course, we're going to go over signals and systems and digital signal processing. Now, I'm going to use a workbook to illustrate most of these concepts by solving problems and activities. The first topic that we're going to cover is really just an introduction to signals and systems and sinusoids, review of sinusoids and the mathematics of sinusoids because sinusoids are the building blocks of all other signals, as we are going to see. Then we're going to proceed to go over looking at signals in the frequency domain. And so starting to talk about spectrum representations, we will look a little bit about communications. Because we're going to focus in digital signal processing, and many of the signals are analog signals, we're going to need to go over the topic of analog to digital conversion and digital to analog conversion. And for that, we need to understand sampling and the problem of aliasing. So we are going to cover that. Once we do that, then we can start talking about digital signal processing systems, which mathematically we are going to analyze them as discrete time systems. And the first type of systems that we are going to study are FIR filters, finite impulse response filters. So that's our fourth topic. We will then go over the continuous time Fourier transform to analyze continuous time signals. The continuous time Fourier transform to analyze continuous time systems and look at their frequency response. And we are doing this not so much because we are interested in the spectrum of continuous time signals and continuous time systems, but as the foundation to derive the discrete time Fourier transform and to understand the relationship between the discrete time Fourier transform, the digital Fourier transform, the fast Fourier transform, and the continuous time Fourier transform. So we will cover all these transforms, the continuous time Fourier transform, the discrete time Fourier transform, the digital Fourier transform, and the fast Fourier transform, and how to use these transforms. We will then look, once with this machinery, we can look at discrete time or digital systems in the frequency domain. And so we will look at the spectrum of FIR filters and other systems. We will cover C transforms, the equivalent of a Laplace transform, but in discrete time, and we will also cover infinite impulse response filters as, uh, as well as applications. So I hope to do 10 playlists, one for each topic, and go covering uh, some of the theoretical background, introductions, but particularly start solving problems and doing some MATLAB simulations. Thank you.